we will discuss about type conversions type conversions means we have learned different data types so there are instances when one data type needs to be converted to other so that is type conversion and there are two types one is implicit type conversion and the other is explicit type conversion in implicit type conversion c allows us to mix the different types of data together that is when we evaluate an expression or when we are doing trying to solve a problem then some variables can be of integer type some can be float some can be double like that so c is allowing us to uh, mix the different data types in one expression and what what is performed is implicit type conversion that is it converts any data to a convenient another data type okay that is uh, it is automatically converting to another data type that's why it is called the implicit type and for what it is done it is done so that the expression can be evaluated without losing any significance and if two operands are of different data type the lower is converted to the higher type because the requirement is that the expression should be evaluated without losing the value so if we need to keep the value then if higher is converted to a lower data type what will happen some data will be lost for example there are if we have two options int to be converted to float and float to be converted to int if int is 3 then when we convert it to float 3 will become 3.000 so there is no data lost but if float is converted to int 3.235 that is converted to int means that 0.235 will be lost so information will be lost when we convert to a lower data so if the operands are of different types this is the basic thing uh, in implicit type conversion the lower type the lower data type is automatically converted to the higher data type before uh evaluating an expression or before doing an operation let, let it be addition or multiplication whatever before that before an operation or before an evaluation calculation uh, of uh, of an expression uh data type needs to be converted and automatically it does that's why it's called implicit type conversion and the rule is lower type will be converted to the higher type and the result will be definitely of the higher type when we multiply an int with a float now the result is float so the result will be of a higher type again you can just check so you know that the smallest one one byte it is char then you have int then float then double then long double so if one of the operands is long double that means it will be converted to long double the other operand will also be converted to long double and the result will also be converted to long double second case if it is double again the second operand as well as result will be converted to double then uh, if one is float and the other is int then the second operand as well as the result will be converted to float so to get the complete hierarchy you can check this long double is the highest then double then float then unsigned long int then long int then unsigned int then int then char so if uh, two operands are one is int and the other is float then one int will be converted to float so now the both are in float type and then the result will be float type if the two operands one is float and the other is double what will happen the second operand is converted to double and the result will be double if one is float and long double then the float will again be converted to long double so always the lower is converted to the higher data type and the result will be of higher data type and this happens automatically and that's why it is called implicit type conversion we don't have to do anything based on the data types the lower will be converted to higher data type so that the expression can be evaluated without loss of information so this is implicit type conversion in explicit type conversion it's a, a local conversion method okay it's also called casting a value and the syntax is it has to be done explicitly in other case it was automatically done in the done in c language so it was implicit this is explicit type 
the type has to be specified within the brackets before the expression. If the expression has to be evaluated before the expression, the data type has to be mentioned and that should be enclosed in this bracket. So, this is the syntax for explicit type conversion. These are different examples. x equals int 7.5. 7.5, you know that it's a float because it has a decimal value. For example, if you need to convert to int, you give int within brackets. This is an example for explicit type conversion. So, now it is converted to integer type. So, 0.5 cannot be included. So, it will be 7. So, x value will be 7. Second case, 21.3 and 4.5, both are float. So, normally if we evaluate it, 21.3 divided by 4.5 will be a float value. But here, we are doing explicit type conversion. So, int of 21.3, it becomes 21. Int of 4.5, it will become 4. So, int by int, this is an integer division and now 21 divided by 4 is evaluated. Again, integer divided by integer, the result will be again an integer. So, result would be 5. The decimal point will not be considered in the result. Third case, sum slash n. Okay, it, it can be a float value, but you are uh, converting or casting it to a double type. So, what is the data type that you want? You are specifying, specifying it within the brackets before the expression. So, this is a syntax for explicit type conversion. Here, A and B are added and the result is converted to integer. What is the difference between these two expressions? In the first expression, A and B are first added. It can be maybe float. Both are added. And the sum value will be a float and that is converted to integer. But in this case, A is first converted to integer and that integer is added with B. So, that is the difference with these two expressions and that is the importance of using brackets properly. Here also what we are doing, X is converted to double and then cos of that value is calculated and substituted to so, one thing you should understand is double of cos x and cos double x will be different. Cos x means it is calculated first and then converted to double. Here, x is converted to double and that value is taken for calculating cos of that. Okay. So, this is, these are some examples of explicit type conversion. Let's consider a simple example for ex implicit type conversion. Here, you can see that here x value is float, y is int. So naturally when you divide x by y, you need, definitely the result will be float. Okay, so here you don't have to do anything. Automatically when this x slash y is calculated, one is float and the other is int. So automatically this int will be converted to float and calculation will be float divided by float and the result will be again float. So, here x was float and y was int, but y is int is automatically converted to float due to implicit type conversion. So, now both are float. So, 10.24567 divided by 4, that will be a value which is float and that value will be stored in Z. So, this is implicit type conversion. When we are doing you know, an arithmetic operation with int and float, int will be normally converted to float and the result will be float. And what about, so you can just compile it also. You can see that the resultant value is an float value. Now let's move on to an example for explicit type conversion. Here x and y are integers. Okay. So in the normal case, what will happen? We know that when x and y are integers. So now normally when we divide the result will be float. So I give the a result variable in th this data type float and now there is no error so I am calculating this and compiling you find that the value is 2.000 there is no decimal value why because both x and y are integer so there is no implicit type conversion both are integer means there is no need to convert if one is float and the other is in they will convert into float lower to higher data type conversion will happen. That is implicit type conversion. But in this case, both x and y are integers. So, there is no uh, chance for implicit conversion. So, naturally, 10 divided by 4, you know that it is 5 by 2, it is 2.5. But 
0.5 cannot be saved because integer division means result is also an integer. So only 2 will come as result. We can check it again. Only 2 will come as result. So to get the float value, what do you have to do? Explicit type conversion. You have to add within brackets the data type to which it should be converted. So now the result is converted to float and then it is saved to z. This is called explicit type conversion. Now we will save it and run. Now instead of earlier it was 2.0, now you get 2.5. So this is the importance of explicit type conversion.